Hello and good day to you, my fellow light workers and beautiful friends. I am uh, getting prepared to do a reading for you from one of my favorite decks by Miss Colette Baron Reed, and that's the um, Enchanted Map Oracle cards. And um, I'm just actually. I was doing something special with these cards and I need to um, just get them prepared real quick here. So bear with me a moment. I think that's, uh, here we go. Okay, I'm going to be shuffling the cards and um, basically the prayer or intention that I have every week is to, uh, that I can be a divine conduit through which a uh, enriching message can be communicated and shared amongst the uh, world and our beautiful light workers community. So I'm just going to shuffle these here a little bit until I uh, have the intuition that they're ready and it looks like they're probably ready at this point. And I just want to clear off these b stones and here we go. Let me go ahead and pick. I might get some help from my little uh, Aphrodite kitty. She likes to hang out all the time when I'm doing these readings. I think here's a good one. Move that out of the way. And, okay, interesting. I like this one again, huh? And this one. Okay, so, right here we have position one and I'm going to just zoom in a little bit, is coming apart. And if you see here, interestingly enough, the shape kind of, uh, at least it comes across to me as a butterfly, even though it's, you know, people, faces, and but uh, I find that interesting considering I've used butterflies as my props today. Position two is coming apart, which has actually shown up before in a reading, and position three is movement. Now, let's uh, go ahead and get started here with the reading for this week. Alrighty, so again in position one, we do have this coming apart card, and the uh, basic message that is being related to this, in fact, the um, saying on the card says, now is the time to take separate paths, which makes sense. And uh, the message that's being communicated is that um, basically this card is indicative of an ending, but don't allow yourself to be alarmed. The specific message is to walk away from that which no longer serves you. It doesn't have to be done in an unloving manner. It's just that when a commitment has been broken or trust has been violated, it is time to exercise your divine right to be loved, be love, and practice self-love. This also means that you may need to break a commitment that you've made yourself because you may have, uh, quote, bitten off more than you can chew. Ask for forgiveness and don't forget to forgive yourself. We're all human, after all. You'll find great release in surrendering this burden. It is time to release and reassess your goals as this situation has become less than mutually be beneficial. If you're coming to the end of a particular relationship that was meaningful, Release it. Don't give chase as the person is already gone and it is time to let go. 
In position two, we have the elephant that is stuck in the mud. And the specific message that's on the card is, or associated to the card is, you're being invited to stop and savor the wonder of your life. Perhaps the situation that is currently breaking apart has caused you to feel stuck. Take some time out to practice divine self-care right now. Now is not the time to push yourself or rush. You're being asked to really get real about what truly gives you joy. This situation is a perfect catalyst for this type of inner work. Focus on what makes you happy and you will be back on track in no time. And to round out the message, we there's always, um, you know, I feel like there's always a really positive uh, thing that rounds out every message and we see it here with movement. And a particular message associated to the card is you are in a time of positive forward motion. Interestingly enough, it's uh, even though it's right next to being stuck in the mud. But what the angels are wishing to communicate right now is that it looks like something major is coming for you and the current situation stands to prepare you for the next phase. This is a confirmation that positive momentum is coming from this period of solace, reflection, and coming apart. The saying, some things fall apart so greater things can fall together, applies here. During this time, you may feel led to take a meaningful trip, change your appearance, or move. Whatever the case, it all stems from something old falling away in order to give breath or life to something new. Embrace these changes. They will serve you well. So overall, it seems like maybe some of us are experiencing some interesting life changes where there's uh, relationships and life situations that maybe haven't been um, serving our higher purpose. And we are in a position now to let those things go. And overall, this is a communication that you're perfectly safe. It's safe to release things that no longer serve you. And there's no reason for you to feel bad about the situation. It's just energy in motion, more or less. And all is well. Just keep reminding yourself that when things maybe don't seem to be going the way that you anticipated them going, there is a plan at work. And as long as you can be aware and keep your spiritual and mental focus on understanding or being open, you'll receive the answers that you're seeking. I want to thank you so much for taking the time to listen to this message or if you're on Lightworkers World and you're reading the message um, I want to thank you for your time and I uh, hope that you've gotten something meaningful out of this communication and I hope to see you again very soon I will be posting uh, another reading either Sunday or Monday of next week and of course I wish you the brightest blessings in the new week.